Between the twin towns of Linton and Lynmouth lies a cliff so steep that Victorian engineers decided to build a railway straight up the side of it. Powered not by steam or electricity, but by water. And more than 130 years later, it's still working. So behind me here on the North Devon coast is a living part of Victorian history. Today we're going to find out how it works, why it was built and if this technology is still relevant in 2025. This is a water balanced funicular railway. Two cars linked by a single cable. When the top car fills its tanks with water, it becomes heavier. Gravity takes over, it rolls down, and the bottom car is pulled up. Once they swap, the water drains and the whole process resets. It climbs 500 feet up the cliff at a 58% gradient along 862 feet of track and it does all that with zero emissions, exactly as it did in 1888. It was a railway that was green long before it was cool. So why does this railway even exist? Well, Lynmouth below, a harbour town. Linton above, the growing community. The only route between? A painfully steep path, or a donkey. Victorian tourism was booming and these two towns desperately needed each other. So the solution was simple, connect them straight up the cliff. Imagine the ambition in the 1800s to look at this cliff and say, yeah, we're going to put a railway on it. There's something a bit odd about standing on a tram and knowing you're about to drop 300 feet straight down to sea level. Look at that drop. As the brakes release, we begin to glide, smooth and steady. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not great with heights, so most of the journey I had sweaty palms and a wobble in my stomach. Halfway down, the track splits, two perfectly aligned rails passing each other just long enough for both carriages to cross paths. It's such a clever piece of engineering, simple, elegant, and still doing its job after more than a century. The trees open, the sea flickers into view, and suddenly you realise this isn't just a way to get from A to B, it's a front row seat to some spectacular Victorian ambition. I might be gripping the rail a bit tighter than I'd like to admit, but what a view. What's incredible is that this railway is still powered by fresh water from the West Lynn River. No pumps, no motors, no external energy, just gravity, the most reliable force we know. You could build this today and call it cutting edge sustainability transport, but they did this over a century ago. Britain once had dozens of cliff railways, very few remain, and even fewer still run on their original mechanics. This railway isn't just preserved, it's alive, still working the way it was designed. Places like this matter, they connect us with a time where engineering was bold and British engineering was just so full of pride. Oh 
Lynmouth and Linton still depend on each other, just as they did 130 years ago. This railway remains the heartbeat of the cliff, carrying locals, visitors and a legacy that refuses to fade. Every time I explore these great railways of Britain, I'm in awe of the genius of those who came before us. A cliff like that didn't stop them, it challenged them. With nothing but determination, gravity and imagination, they carved a railway into the rock and made the impossible part of everyday life. It fills me with pride knowing that this isn't just preserved, it's still working, it's still climbing, it's still pulling people today. We built this once, imagine what we could build next. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Oh.